Since Chinzy Survey is a Microsoft Windows-based software package, it has a standard MS Windows look and feel. This means that menu options and buttons operate the same way as other packages running under Windows. In most windows, using the right mouse button on a part of the screen opens a menu containing options relevant to that part of the window. The same options can also be found in the main menu bar located at the top of the window. Most windows can be resized by simply dragging the corners while holding down the left mouse button. Windows that cannot be resized will either have a grayed out, maximize button or none at all. The following picture provides an overview of the used terminology with respect to the user interface. Structure of Chinzy. Chinzy Survey is a modular built program, which means that it is not one program, but a suite of linked applications. The entry point for Chinzy is a program called the console. From this console all other programs are started. Database. The base of each survey in Chinzy is the template database. This is created with the database setup program started from the setup option in the console. This template database contains all info about the configuration and settings to be used during the survey. When recording a copy is made of this template database and raw data is added, so both raw data and the configuration and settings used to acquire that data are stored together in one single database, file. The advantage of such a single database containing all information belonging to a certain data set is that settings can be changed on a file-by-file -file basis without affecting the overall project settings made during the start of the project. Project. Chinzy Survey allows the user to store data on a project basis. The Manage Projects option in the console allows the user to manage the projects. As soon as a new project, folder, in Chinzy is started a number of subfolders will be created. Each subfolder contains data of a specific type. Chinzy will automatically search for data in that specific subfolder once a project has been selected. Information files that are relevant for a number of projects, e.g. chart data or vessel shape files, can be stored in a general common files folder. This common files folder can be set from the console. Setup. This application is used to configure the template database for the project and to activate a certain database or template. Use this application to change for example the geodetic parameters, vessel shape, sensor I.O. or other parts of the system configuration. Line planning. Create a set of survey lines or create boundaries within which to sail or to calculate volumes. This button starts the survey manager in line planning mode. Online. This button will start the controller with the selected template. This template is used as the base for the raw data collection. Replay. This application allows the user to change the database configuration and replay the data. Another option is to analyze the raw data that was gathered during the survey on a sensor basis. Survey Manager. The Survey Manager's main function is support of a survey with the following functions, sounding grid operations. Plotting. Line planning. CAD functionality. Apart from the basic applications there are a number of additional applications that may appear in the bottom half of the window. These icons can be switched on or off depending on the wishes of the user. I.O. Test Utility. The I.O. Tester displays the raw data that is received on the PC communication ports. I.O. Driver Editor. With this tool the user can create his own driver to read an ASCII string. Generic Layout Editor. With this tool the user can define a display, an online output string, a log file or export from the database file. ENC Administrator. With this tool electronic navigation charts in the 000 format can be converted into QNC files which can be displayed in the navigation display. Remote Display Controller. The controller can put all the online data on a local network, then the remote display controller can display this data on every PC connected to this network. Go to Project in the main menu and select Project. Select New Project. Fill the project name and description, if needed. Select Geodetic Configuration. Project Coordinate System is the map projection, coordinate system, used in your project. Vertical Datum is the optional vertical reference plane configuration. 
Source coordinate system is the output coordinate system of your positioning system used as input, source, coordinate system in this software. Transformation The, datum, transformation from the source coordinate system to the project coordinate system is listed here. If you have a costume coordinate system then you can create a datum by selecting advanced setup. Fill in the datum name and select the ellipsoid. Choose the map projection. Select the vertical datum. Choose the source coordinate system. Usually each tool system outputs coordinates in WGS84 datum. Select the datum transformation from source to project datum. Fill in the transformation parameters. Check the calculation of the transformation result of the known point. Next steps is database setup. Start the setup module from the console by double clicking on setup icon in the upper half of the window. The following window will appear. Define an object using the following steps. Select the type of object. In most cases this will be a vessel. Enter a name for this object, e.g. the name of the vessel. Enter a name for the reference point on the vessel. This point will have the coordinates 0, 0, 0,0,0 in the vessel coordinate frame. It is recommended to choose this point as close as possible to the center of gravity of the vessel to ensure optimum performance. Enter the distance between the object reference point and the draft reference of the vessel. The draft reference is the point on the vessel where the draft is zero. This would normally be the keel. If the object reference point is above the draft reference level, then this value is positive. If the object reference point is below the draft reference level, then this value is negative. Select the type of squat model to be used. Enter a priori standard deviations for draft, squat, load tide and relative timing errors between systems. Next the shape definition screen will show. 
The object shape is used online in the navigation display to give the user an idea of the shape of the vessel and the heading. It is possible to define the shape manually or to import a vessel shape from a previous project. Enter the length and width dimensions of the vessel. We can edit the nodes if they are not suitable for our needs. The next step is to define the systems that are going to be used during the survey. Systems include measurement devices like GPS, Echo Sounder, and Gyro Compass. To enter a new system the following steps need to be taken. Enter a descriptive name for the system. Select the type of system. A complete list of system descriptions can be found in the online help. Select the corresponding driver, software program that decodes the data string, for the system to be installed. The different output formats are specified in the Kinsey drivers and interface manual that can be found in the Kinsey console or on the QPS website. Enter the correct values for the interfacing of the sensor with the computer, the correct COM port with the correct parameters. More information about this can be found in the manual of the system or on the system itself. If the data that is output to the computer has latency, then a constant latency for that system can be entered here. The next window shows the parameter settings for the selected system. The layout of this screen depends on the selected system type. All systems require as a minimum the object's name on which the system is located and the location of the system on that object, with the exception of heading systems. Enter a name for this new node. Enter the offsets for this node relative to the reference point, 0, 0,0,0 of the object. Enter the a priori SD of this offset measurement. For this exercise I chose the simulator system as the driver. We can edit this driver whenever we want. For Giro enter CO calibration result. To edit the database select Setup and select Setup Database. Check the project parameters that have been created. We can edit the system whenever we want. Choose the driver that suits our system. Select the serial port that suits each system. Don't forget to save the updated database. Make sure the selected database is an updated database. The next step is line planning. This will be discussed in the next video. In the meantime we try to go online with the system we have created. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.